Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Locust Toaster and we're gonna do fumbling in the dark. What are we fumbling for? A clear gem, possibly a relic. Let's do it. So obviously, yes, this is post commentary at its finest. Best thing on the uh, internet these days is post commentary. All right, here we are in the dark. I'm just gonna run back. Oh, snap, dude, there's some boxes back here. Did not see that coming. So this is gonna be fun because we're probably gonna die here real soon and have to do that all over again. Whoa, that was a close one. Okay, and let's start this level. All right, we just gotta run and jump and run and jump and jump and jump and run. All right, so how is everybody doing tonight? Hopefully good. Uh, it's been actually a few days since I've recorded anything. And okay, here we are. Back to going through this level again. Yeah, like I said, it's been a few days since I've recorded anything. Um, mostly due to uh, my son had to get his tonsils and adenoids removed and now he's just kind of in the process of recovering so we're hoping it's a quick one what we keep hearing is the uh, next couple days are like the roughest uh, for average you know this is, oh. so yeah the second day he was fine he was actually really hyper, and then towards the end of the night, he just kind of crashed, and he's just kind of been blah since. So, we're hoping he has a really fast recovery. I don't know why right now I'm trying to do this all fast. You know, well, you have to do it fast, you know, before you run out of the light. But, you know. I don't know why I'm trying to go that fast. Oh crap, and we're in the dark and we're dead. That was quick. Just get some boxes and death. <laughs> death again. As you can see, if we're not careful, uh, gonna lose our lives. <laughs> and that's not good. <clears throat> Yeah, definitely not a big fan of this level. Um, I'll let you guys know right now if you want to just skip to the next video, by all means go. If you love hearing my droning voice, then just watch it. It's great. Just joking, I have a beautiful voice. I have a beautiful voice. And I'm commentating. Crash Bandicoot. I need to go to bed, dude. I gotta work at five in the morning, which is just in a few hours. Yay. Joy to me. Uh, you know, it won't be too bad. It's only six hours, but six hours of hell. Not really. It's not that bad. I just, um, yeah. Just a lot of shit to do. Um, a lot of complications with it all, but you know, we're gonna get it figured out. Holy moly. Oh, come on, why'd I do that? Well, we do have a checkpoint, so that's good. Definitely helps having a checkpoint. Alright. So yeah, as I was gonna say, uh, if you don't want to watch this video, that's fine. I, uh... Oh, you know what? I am going to get the uh, relic in this. I did forget. Because... I don't necessarily get it on this part. It'll be actually live commentary. Oh, we're so screwed, dude. So screwed. Is there a box? Something. Nasty spiders. Oh, there we go. We got the light. We got to jump on this guy. And jump on him. Go with hopefully... Without getting, oh yeah, there's the checkpoint that we needed. Okay. Oh, what the hell? How are we in the dark? How are we in the dark? I had a thing. Huh, 
That was, that was interesting. But, you know, no big deal. We hit, we hit the checkpoint, so... Oh, come on. That's crap. Okay, and, you yeah, know, bounce off these stupid spiders. Bounce off their ugly faces. This level is just terrifying, dude. I mean, the spiders. The dark. Okay, here we go. And there's our clear gem and our exit. So we did it. We got the clear gem. Now we just have to go for the uh, relic. So that leaves one gem left out of the normal game. And uh, that's it, man. Just one gem. Yeah, that's all we need. But we gotta get the relic first on this level. All right, there's our time clock and we are ready to go. Gotta get those whoopagas, okay, and go, man. There's gonna be so many deaths in this and it's probably gonna be kind of a long video, but oh, well, the whole goal is to uh, be fast. Of course, but I mean, you'll you'll find out that. Oh, forgot the clock. Oh, death and a loss of life too. Dang it. Okay, and go. See, that's also what happens when you're trying to go too fast. Is you make mistakes like that. But hey, we got ninety something lives. Who gives a fly? I don't give a fly. Oh man, we got lucky there. Okay. Oh, 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 crap. Definitely looking forward to... Oh, that's a phone call. Hey, what's up? Where are you? I'm downstairs. I'm voicing oh. over my video. Computer. Yeah. Toast boys. Toast boys. Is he gonna eat them? Are you gonna eat them? You sure? He said, Daddy, get upstairs. Hi, buddy. Hi. I'll make you some French toast bites, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. I'm gonna see you in a minute. Alright, thanks. Love you, bud. Yep, love you too. Bye. Alright. Here I come with some French toast bites. Yep. Well, we are making it so far this time. Look at us go. We're almost to a checkpoint. <laughs> Not really. Unless I cut the video and just continue from this location. But here we go, man. 33. Can we make it? Just gotta keep moving, Crash. Just gotta keep moving. Wait a second. Yep. Oh. Those are the first time boxes that I've seen. Okay. Yep. Just moving along very nicely. Hopefully. Oh. Ah. Oh. Alright, let's try this again. Yep. French toast bites delivery successful. We are good on that front. Hopefully he eats them. Uh. If not, oh my gosh, so scary. Okay. We made it. I like that little trick that I'm doing right there. Except for that one. Alright, not doing too bad this time. Just gotta watch out for those dang rats. Look at those close. Okay. I have to watch all the, uh, what I'll need to do eventually is watch all these videos on how people got their platinums. Cause I mean, <laughs> there sure is tricks about it. Yeah, we'll never get a platinum, a platinum <laughs> unless we're really studying some of these videos. Um, however, here pretty soon probably, oh! Yeah, pretty soon here probably, we're probably going to, yeah, pretty soon here, probably. <laughs> How many times are I gonna say this? <clears throat> pretty soon, we're probably just gonna somewhat more or less skip to the end of this cut. And 
Yeah. The reason for that is, is because, you know, I'm doing a lot more failing rather than a lot more succeeding. And I think you guys have all finally had enough with that. By you guys, I mean nobody. <laughs> but me, me personally, I've had enough of it. And, you know, I don't want these videos to be any longer than really what they need to be. So, um... Yeah, I think the failing is gonna end here. Uh, just also a heads up, since this is post commentary, I have started Crash Bandicoot 2. Um, I am in the second warp room already. Doing very good on the first warp room. Uh, you know, kind of moving right along, found a secret. Just getting a lot of stuff done early on in the game. Um, I watched one playthrough and someone thought maybe it was harder than the first and I just think that this game ultimately takes the difficulty level to the next. It's just, you know, these, these dark levels are not anything to mess around with. I mean the first one's kind of easy, but this one, yeah, it can just go to hell, you know? So it can. Also in other news. They, I just found out today, I'm sure it's been out for a while, but I don't really pay attention too much, and hopefully we don't fall, we're gonna fall. Dang it. Yeah, another news. So yeah, another news. We, uh, I found out today that they are going to come out with a Spyro the Dragon trilogy, and I'm definitely, uh, I've seen even a couple of videos for it and I am absolutely stoked for that game to come out um, what they did to the graphics in that you know it looks absolutely mind-blowing looks amazing now I know these are just kind of kid games but like they were my kid games you know when I was a kid growing up this is what I played all right Crash Bandicoot you really gotta stop dying here I was trying to tell a story of something in the news that I heard today, and you're just kind of screwing me over on that. So, if you could, like, stop falling into the dark abyss, that would be wonderful. Thank you, Crash. And, oh, wow, we, might, we just might make it this time. We're already 31 seconds in here, and... We're just doing stellar. Wow, look at us go. Look at look at Crash Bandicoot's go. He's going so fast, he doesn't know what he's doing right now. Oh, there's the time box, and wow. Logos Toaster sure is getting a lot better at playing this game. Look at him. Wow, he's gonna make it this time, I think. Go, Logos Toaster. Alright, skip to the end. This time for sure, guys. This got to jump on the spider right here. Jump. Oh, same spot. Same spot. All right, this time for sure. We're going to skip right to the end. Thank you, Locato, sir. Yeah, so I also want to take this time to uh, go over some of the future plans for the Locust Toaster channel. Um, as far as what games I should play. And also continuations of games that I need to get back to. So I guess we'll start with the easiest one, that's Fallout 4. I'm like 115 parts into it now. Um, I kind of want to go, I kind of got an idea of how I want to end it. As far as just, uh, you know, finishing the main story, which I'm getting there. Definitely getting there. But I also want to investigate stuff, maybe do a couple side quests, nothing too crazy. Um, maybe the goal is 200 parts at the most. I can't see me going past that or even to that for that matter. And then I will just be done with that. I've been playing that game for over a year. I'm ready for some new, newer materials. Um, Prey, 
Like, as far as, like, achievements and trophy-wise, I feel like I've hardly done shit in that game. But at the same time, like, I feel like I'm progressing in that game really fast and, like, I should be nearing the end, maybe? I'm not really sure. But, um, you know, about that game, that game is a lot better than what I anticipated it being at first. At first, I was just like, man, this is okay, you know? But uh, the more and more I play it, the more I like it. It's stressful, which sounds stupid, but in a way, I kind of like that. Right, I like the stressful gaming environment when you have no health and you have no ammo. and You're basically running and trying to lock doors to keep out uh, an alien, you know? It's, it's freaky. It's very stressful. So, and that's, that's cool in a, in a video game. Hang on, gotta pop a Tide Pod. I'm just joking, just joking. Just Tums. I'm addicted. Tom, 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 toms. Yeah, so as we're doing this Crash Bandicoot post commentary, because I lost it somewhere, we're just talking about other games. Um, yeah, but anyway, obviously, this is another one. Um,. One more video after this, guys. And Crash Bandicoot 1 will be done 100%. And we'll start uploading some uh, Cortex Strikes Back videos. I already have a couple of them, so we're on a roll to get that started. Uh, after that, oh, what I really want to do this weekend what I would really love to do <clears throat> there's two things one thing I can definitely see it being plausible you know I can definitely make time for it and do it tomorrow night that is not dying crash panicule <laughs> just joking it's not what I'm talking about no Red Dead Redemption it's been months and months since I've got on it, I kind of did some cleaning, transitioned to playing most of my games in the living room, even tried to uh, sell my 360 because I didn't really see a need for it because I have an Xbox One and found out you can play all the games on that. But you have to download them of course and I just haven't, just haven't done that. But I really want to get back to playing that game and it will be on the Xbox One. Not remastered, but just playable on that console. I can really see me getting to that this weekend, hopefully. Um, another thing I'd love to play, and that's probably been even longer, is Gears of War 2, and that's with Trisha, my girlfriend, who just in our busy lifestyles and work all the time and separate schedules and different days off, find it really hard to sit down together and enjoy a video game together but you never know maybe we will get a small chance or opportunity tomorrow after I get out of work and we can uh, we can do that you know I don't have the 360 hooked up but I did get a new controller for the Xbox one so we should be able to continue that as well and that's that's pretty much it for what I'm currently working on you know I know the Gears of War thing is like an ongoing thing by the time I even get past Gears of War 3 Gears of War 5 will be out you know and that's what it feels like if they're planning on making it Gears of War 5 I don't know but, you know, one of my all-time favorite games, the whole reason why I even got an Xbox One is to get Gears of War 4 and freaking haven't even played it yet because it just takes so long getting down to playing it and I wanted to upload all the games in order, you know. So we're on the second one. We did beat the first one. and But we've only been able to play through, like, three parts. So it's been rough. No big deal, though. We'll do it when it comes. Um, another thing is, um, yeah, now I want to kind of talk about newer games. Because once I'm done with uh, Prey, 
Oh, you know, another game I just actually finished. So I wouldn't mind starting a new game. You know, I don't see why not. I was able to do this particular game, finish it, and now it's fully posted on YouTube by the me telling you this, you know, on Star Wars Battlefront 2. Which I enjoyed the hell out of you back. I, yeah, I enjoyed the hell out of that game. It was a lot of fun. Badass graphics, uh, cool storyline. I wish there was a way I could have played multiplayer. Uh, according to my dad, I don't know if he's got slow. He's got slow internet, so he wasn't actually able to play the resurrection campaign. So it's good that I posted it. You know that way he can watch it and maybe just one day play it himself. But um, if I do start a new game, I would hope that you guys could maybe give me some feedback as to maybe what you would like to see me start playing. I know I do plan on playing the old 2006 Prey game after that Prey is done. I do want to do that. <clears throat> but another whole new game because I'm done with Battlefront 2. I want to fill up that space with some new material, something I haven't posted yet. And I have a couple games that I'd like to uh, list off. If any of them sound good to you just uh, drop a comment in the box below and let me know what you guys would like to see me play so we have a little big planet 3 kind of a kid game you can do all sorts of cool stuff create things it's actually kind of cool I've never played it though <laughs> so how would I know well I played the first two that's how okay we have Assassin's Creed Unity for the Xbox One. And we also have Assassin's Creed Syndicate for the PlayStation 4. I think I would like to play Assassin's Creed Unity first, but if you would rather see Syndicate, then I would probably just play Unity off camera, you know, or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. But I'd like to do. Every game I play, I like to post it because, you know, one, why the hell not? I'm playing it, might as well put it on YouTube, and then I can go back and watch it and laugh my ass off at myself. Um, the other one, I just picked up this game, is Resident Evil 7. Scary as hell. Definitely want to get started on this because it's frightening in all sorts of goofy ways. Uh, so if you want to see me get scared shitless, choose that one. We got The Walking Dead, the tale, the Telltale game, um, with the 400 Days expansion pack on it. I can start that one. Uh, Dishonored 2, it's also a Bethesda game. I loved the first Dishonored game, so that would be an amazing one to play. Um, we got The Elder Scrolls Online. Of course, if I do this, I'd have to get online, which, you know, if you guys say, hey, play that, I'll be totally cool with it, and that's what we'll do. Um, we also got Uncharted, the Nathan Drake collection. So that's one, two, and three, so I'd like to do that. I also have four, but that would take a while to get to. Middle Earth, Shadow of Mordor, we can do that one. Uh, I picked up The Witcher 3, Wild Hunt. I got The Order. 1886 so any of those games sound great just let me know and i will see you guys for live commentary starting now i finally seen the end of this level
Yes! Just like that, finally did it. We got a gold relic too. Yeah! Okay. <laughs> so, we'll be GGGG for good, 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 good. Finally. Feel pretty good with that run. <laughs> gold relic, man. I, I should. I deserve it. I definitely freaking deserve it. Not too bad. That's a really short video I just made because the last one was like 45 minutes of me trying that level and I just couldn't fucking do it. So I said, fuck it. Oh, by, by the way, sorry. Son is not down here. I am not using that kind of language in front of him. I probably shouldn't use that language at all. Just for one, it's bad. For two, you know, what if he wants to watch these videos? That's okay. We watch other people's Crash Bandicoot videos and they don't swear at all. So that's good. Awesome, man. Awesome. Okay, so next time on Fumbling in... <laughs> yeah, because that's what I feel like I was doing the whole time. So next time in Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy, we are going to tackle Castle Machinery. Thank you guys, everybody, for watching. I hope you have a good day. Bye-bye.